When working with Maven, one of the first things you should do to make your life easier is to enable Maven index searching. Trust me, it's easier to search for dependencies than to type them in incorrectly. You'll need to get into the preferences for Eclipse. This process will vary depending on whether you're on a Windows computer or a Mac computer. On a Windows computer, you'll find the preferences by clicking on Windows from the Eclipse menu. Mac users, you'll find it by going to Eclipse, down to Preferences. Once this window appears, the instructions are the same. Click on Maven from the left side. Place a checkbox next to Download Repository Index Updates on Startup. Check the boxes for Download Artifact Sources and Download Artifact Java Doc. Click Apply. Next, we need to enable the full index. Go to Window, Show View, Other, Maven, Maven Repositories, and click Open. Click the down arrow next to the Global Repositories and right-click on Central. Select Full Index Enabled. This will start an update. You should notice it along the bottom of your Eclipse window. This will download a quite large file, so you'll want to make sure that you're on good high-speed internet whenever you start. Wait for the process to complete and then shut down your Eclipse and open it back up again. After restarting Eclipse and confirming that the index is done updating, you're ready to try searching for a dependency again. Open back up your pom.xml file in the project. Type JUnit into the Enter Group ID, Artifact ID text box and press Enter. You should receive a lot of results. Some Windows users may not see the search results yet. If that is the case, go back into the Global Repositories, right-click on Central, and select Rebuild Index from the list. Again, you will need to restart your Eclipse after the update is done indexing. Try to search again, and hopefully this time you will be able to enable the search results. If searching is still not working, you'll need to head out to Stack Overflow and look around for a solution based on your system and version of Eclipse. Please post a comment to this video if you had to perform additional tasks to get the searching to work on your system so we can help other learners along the way. Now we're ready to add Maven dependencies to our Eclipse Java projects.